In this last video clip, I'm going to walk you through the process of taking your wing, your uh, horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer, and cut out notches into the fuselage that you'll be creating in this step. Creating in this step. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up Inventor and open up the fuselage template that we created in the previous steps. So I'm going to hit open and we're going to look for the fuselage template. There it is, hit open. And from here I'm going to rotate it this way and click on the look at tool, start a sketch on the flat surface and we're now ready to create the side view of the fuselage. So that is going to be this right here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a measurement, I'm going to draw out some pieces. So I'm going to be making a line going straight across the bottom. Or depending on what your design has, if you're at any angles, you need to create them at this time. So 269 millimeters across. So I'm going to grab my line tool, make it inside, go across dimension that to be 269 okay then I'm going to go up for the back and then this goes up a little bit it connects no we don't need to connect at that time so we'll just hit escape okay so we need to dimension this piece right here this is the back the trailing part of the fuselage where the horizontal vertical stabilizer will then be located. Um, so that's one millimeter in distance or height. So change that to one. All right, and then we will change the distance from here to here. And let's check and see what that's supposed to be. That is supposed to be 12. Okay, so let's go back and make that 12. And you see we have a problem here. Um, we will need to move that down. Okay, so we'll move it down so it fits inside the area that we have set up for the glider part, which is the fuselage. So it fits inside, as you can see, I'm zooming in. So everything fits inside. So we're not cutting anything away. Parts of the geometry that would need to be um, shown are not being cut away. All right, the last thing I need then is to create the three-point arc to connect here to here. So I don't have a set radius on that, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with the uh, on tangent. Okay, so there is that curve, and we can dimension that as well. See what that is? It's six. Is the radius? All right, now we're going to cut out notches for the wing and for the horizontal stabilizer at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the drawing, and you will notice that my dimensions here will come in handy now. So the 18 is the distance from the back of the fuselage to the uh, trailing part of the horizontal stabilizer. Then 50 is going to take me over to the distance in front at the leading edge. Okay, So 18 and 50 are two dimensions, key dimensions that I will need at this time. So we're going to take a line tool, zoom in a little bit, draw a line here, 18. Click and dimension that to be 18. Okay, and we're going to draw another line from here over, past, and this one needs to be 50. Okay. Alright, from here I will take the line tool and I'm going to trace from going, you see how I found that point, I'm going to go up and you see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, you see it automatically will trace me in line with that endpoint, going vertically up, so it's in line. I'm going to click right here, come down, alright, and I'm going to need to dimension that according to the thickness of the fuse, or not the fuselage, according to the thickness of the horizontal stabilizer. Horizontal stabilizer is set for one millimeter, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and hit D for dimension and change that to one. One millimeter. Okay. And then I'm going to go over to this other spot, 50. Let's go back to the tutorial. 18 and 50. So you see 50 is going to be over here. Going up, come down, 
Let's dimension that to one. And then we're going to connect this line here, this corner, this endpoint, to this endpoint here. And now you have that notch created. Okay, the only thing that needs to be done at this time now is to uh, trim out. So I'm going to go into my 2D sketch panel and trim out, or hit X and trim out this section right there. As you can see there, now I have that open space, and that's where my horizontal stabilizer will sit. It's recessed or inlaid uh, onto the fuselage. All right, let's move on. We're going to now move to the wing. So let's go back to our drawing and see how where the trailing edge will be located. It's 145. So I'm going to go to 145. So I'm going to go ahead and hit L for line. Measure from here all the way over. Dimension that. 145. Alright, so that's where that line will be. And this distance is going to be 2. So I'm going to trace the depth to be 2, depending on how big you're going to make your wing. So D for dimension. And that's going to be 2. Alright. Now we need to know what the length is going to be here. Okay. So what we will need to do is calculate and add 60 to the 145 to figure out what we will need here. So it's 205. So I'm going to take my line tool, measure again, and dimension that to 205. I'm running out of space here, so I can I can lower it or move it in between. That's okay. 205. All right, and then I'm going to go straight up and down. It's going to be two. Now I'm going to take the trim tool from the 2D sketch panel, or hit X on the keyboard, and I'm going to trim away the top part right here where the wing will go. I'm going to go turn on my line tool again or hit L on the keyboard and connect this endpoint here to this endpoint here. And you can zoom out. I should be able to see now where I have the perforated or these will be the cutout areas on that will be laser cut where the wing will go and the horizontal stabilizer and then vertical stabilizer will go right on top depending on how you want this to work. So that is the last step for the sketches that we need to make and if once again if we need to go back and change anything now is the time to do it. I'm hit return and then I'm gonna go ahead and extrude what I just created. So you see I can click on the outside edge and we want to remove away all of the parts that we don't want. So all that will be left behind is just the fuselage. So I'm going to go to distance, all, cut, and hit OK. And I can even rotate this just so I can see what's going on here. Hit OK. And there you have it. Now there's some things that I would like to address here at this time. Um, if you look at the back end of the fuselage, this is going to be a very weak uh, cut, meaning that it might be very f um, fragile at the end of the glider due to the fact that there really isn't much thickness here I as far as the balsa wood is concerned. So I may want to modify my design there or maybe even instead of having the um, section right here removed, maybe I want to put the section that is removed underneath the fuselage so the horizontal stabilizer can go under instead of on top. So in order for me to change anything I can go back over to my model menu that's right here on the side and I can basically go ahead and look at the history of what is created in the extrusion. So the first extrusion was simply just the piece of balsa wood and the second extrusion was what I removed as far as the fuselage end result. If I um, open that up and expand what was underneath the extrusion I'm able to see that the sketch that you see is contained within the extrusion. Right click, edit sketch. So now I'm able to go and change some measurements if I need to. Uh, and I can do that depending on how I want this to work. So if I want to change to 50, I can do that. 
or if I wanted to change the 18 I can do that here as well so it may mess up some things um, but if it messes everything up then I would suggest going hit return and actually deleting the entire extrusion and starting over so that all you get left behind is just this piece so it may be the easier way of doing it uh, considering that sometimes when you go into it back into extrusion into the sketch it was created you may have some problems so if that's what you need to do that's what you need to do but I'd like to keep what I have with the fuselage so I'm gonna hit the undo and I'm gonna save what I have here because I'm finished at this point so I'm gonna go to save as and at this time I'm gonna save it under the Bechtel glider parts obvious yours will be different and I'm gonna make this just like the others this is the fuselage so I don't need template on here anymore and that is the last piece that I will need these are all the glider parts and in the next video I'll be able to show you how to assemble the gliders that you are ready to create in the assembly file on Inventor so that is it draw my line across and connect and you see how that kind of messed things up there a lot so I'm going to hit undo and we're just going to leave that go and that's and from here I'll leave that go and I'm going to click and delete all these dimensions since I don't need them right now and then I'm going to redraw the line see if that'll work to fix that it's still cutting it down so let's try and get rid of some of the other dimensions see if that has anything to do with our problem we're having and we'll try that there it still wants to pull that down so there may be some technical difficulties that you run into and that there you go I actually went a little bit further and that seemed to work fine and we'll just hit the X and trim that away and then trim this top part and we're good to go so that was a problem that I ran into and sometimes you will run into problems like that um, so all I did to fix that was delete some of the dimensions and then I actually traced past the endpoint so it didn't lock in and constrain my dimensions and move everything around like you saw before okay so that's it there all we have to do from now to finish this is to hit return and extrude that area left behind. As you can see I'm having some more difficulties here so let's go ahead and retrace make sure that we have all everything set up correctly so I'll go to edit sketch and retrace my lines just to make sure and there you go there's the problem that I'm having